Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 38 week pregnancy update for you guys today. I can't believe that I'm saying out loud that I'm 38 weeks along already. That means that I really only have about two weeks left to go until we meet this little girl. Um, which is so exciting. I, I think, I think it's been about five weeks since I did my last one. I think the last one I did at 33 weeks. So quite a bit has changed and quite a bit has happened since the last time I updated you guys. But I thought we would start out just by talking about the baby and the approximate size and everything like that. So, um, my app is telling me that the baby is roughly about the size of a leek and... <laughs> I mean, I don't regularly buy leaks. I don't know if you guys do, so I don't know if that means anything to you, but um, it says she is roughly 6.8 pounds and a little over 19 and a half inches, which is crazy. I can't believe like that much baby is in my belly right now. Um, but it does make sense because I'm definitely feeling the pressure of that. Like, I... <laughs> I think I say this every video, but I don't know how I'm going to continue to grow bigger. Um, it feels massive in there. I have extreme pressure in my whole like pelvic area, like my hips, my pelvis. It feels like I'm walking around with um, like a bowling ball in my legs, I want to say, um, or like in my pelvis. Um, it's very heavy. It's very painful. I've had days really where... I've been nearly in tears because my back hurts so bad and it's not really my back it's kind of like it's like my sacrum almost so um, she's definitely right down in my pelvis she's head down um, in a good position so that's that's good but um, yeah I'm getting pretty over it I'm pretty damn sore if I'm honest so um, what else has changed I've had Braxton Hicks contractions for probably the last two weeks. Nothing too crazy painful with those, but I definitely notice them and feel them. Um, she still is moving a lot. Um, I, I've heard some people say that, you know, when you get to the later stages, the baby doesn't move as much and it doesn't feel like, you don't feel as big of movements, but that really hasn't been true for me. She's still moving around in there so much. Kicking, she's strong. Sometimes it hurts. I feel like my ribs, like her feet are like right up under my ribs and I feel like they're bruised some days. So I'm getting a little tired of that as well, but I guess the important thing is that she is strong in there and kicking around. Um, we did complete the antenatal classes that you're supposed to take, which were okay, if I'm honest. Like, I feel like I didn't really myself learn a whole lot from going to those that I hadn't already read about, so it was alright. There, were, I think the best part about going to those was the fact that we got to take a tour of the birthing unit that we planned to go to, so that does kind of put your mind at ease, and sort of for me, like, I like to know what to expect a little bit, and with so many unknowns, like, you don't know when she's going to arrive, when you'll go into labor, how quickly you'll have to be to the hospital, all, there's so many unknowns, right, and there's so many things to think about, so feeling comfortable and knowing kind of what it's going to be like when you get to that place, it just helps um, me anyway with, like, anxiety or something, I don't know if it's anxiety, but it just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable, so that was one thing that I really did like about the antenatal group, but other than that, I feel like I've been doing so much of my own reading and my own research that it wasn't, like, overly informative for me. Um, so, I don't know, take that as you will. If if you're, cons like, thinking, should I, shouldn't I, at least go, they're free in New Zealand. Um, you don't have to keep going to them if you feel like, no, this isn't for me. So, my husband and I, we did do the entire, I think we had to go to five different weeks and it's like two hours each week so um we did complete it but not like overly amazing in my opinion um the one thing that I did do that I would highly recommend that I did a couple of weeks ago was I went to a breastfeeding course so if you are pregnant or about to be a mom and you want to breastfeed your baby and you haven't done it before I really recommend going to a course of some sort. Um, I found it really informative and really helpful. And, you know, it's breastfeeding's made out to be like 
it's supposed to be so easy for everyone and it just I mean it is such a natural thing right but it, the truth is it's not easy for everyone and a lot of women really struggle with it and um, yeah it takes a bit of work to like get it right between you and your baby and all that kind of stuff so I'm really happy that I went to that it was like two hours of a day one day and I found it very informative so I did do that um what else so weight gain so far so I have gained I think I'm the last time I weighed myself which was probably a week ago I was 73 kilos or so so I've gained probably 12 kilos so far my goal is to not go over 75 I think I would like but again at this point with like two weeks left to go I'm just kind of doing what I need to do to get through it so I'm not overly like pedantic about it um but yeah I have been actually eating like crap if I'm honest I've been eating so much crap but it's because I'm tired I'm not sleeping well and when you're tired and you just can't be bothered well I don't know maybe I shouldn't say that I should be bothered but to be honest with you I haven't been bothered so um yeah I haven't been eating overly great so there's that um I guess I'll stand up and show you guys my belly because it's freaking huge so let me zoom the camera out so you can see so from the side you can see like in the sweater especially I feel like I look ginormous but from the front this is my belly from the front so it's very tight as you can see so far I don't have any stretch marks again and that's just a little side view so I feel like I'm honestly just like smuggling a basketball to be honest and my belly button looks super funny so um, yeah it's getting really heavy so yeah it's getting really heavy and um, very tight but I guess I'm lucky that I don't have stretch marks so far. I have heard that they can sometimes show up afterwards, so I'm not completely home free from those, I do understand. Um, I have been using um, rosehip oil on my skin to kind of helpfully help prevent those. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? I don't know. Um, the nursery tour is coming probably next week. It's nearly finished. I'm just waiting for the last few bits and pieces to arrive. So I'm really excited to show you guys that. The room is looking super cute. Um, we had our baby queue, is what we called it, uh, last weekend. So we just had a big barbecue with some family and friends, um, which was really nice. We had such a lovely day, and everyone that came, it was just so nice to like see all of you and hang out and we're so grateful that we had like the most perfect weather and it was just such a great day just kind of wanted one final day to sort of hang out with everyone before this little lady arrives so that was awesome um, but other than that I've had this request a few times from a particular subscriber who hello Elena if you're watching um, she wanted to know or she asked me to do the tag where I tell you guys five well she said ten but honestly I don't have ten to tell you like I don't have ten names that I liked to begin with or we liked to begin with but I'll tell you five names that we liked but are not going to use um, and then you guys can like guess and comment down below if you think you know what we're gonna name her um, the one thing I will say is there's probably a lot of family and friends who may or may not watch this you guys know what we're going to name her so if you do know what we're naming her don't spoil the surprise and don't put it in the comments um, that will make me sad so uh, for those of you who don't know and you want to have a guess go ahead and leave a comment down below um, so I am just gonna grab my laptop because I wrote the five names down hold on so the five names that we liked but are not gonna use are and remember, I'm having a girl, okay? So we like Spencer, Riley, Cameron, Kyle, and Simone. And we're not using any of those, but those were five on my list that I like. So maybe that gives you kind of a little clue the direction that we're going. So yeah, if you want to have a guess, you can go ahead and comment down below. I would also love to know if any of you are also pregnant going on this journey as well, any fellow moms to be. Um, I like knowing like what you guys are up to as well and kind of like trying to 
connect with you guys so definitely let me know if you are also pregnant and expecting but other than that, I think that's it for this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up for more baby videos. And that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.